Hi everyone, and welcome back. So, we're getting into fall right now, and uh, the weather's changing. We had a very nice September here in Denmark, a lot of sunny, warm weather, but now the <clears throat> the season is finally catching up to us, so uh, the leaves are starting to fall, it's wet, it's windy, but it's a nice change of pace. I really like when the weather and the seasons are changing. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is uh, a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. It's about a pipe that I both hate and love. Uh, it's about the corn cob. This is just a standard Mississippi Mersham corn cob. Everyone knows this. And it's a weird thing for me since I... Sometimes I really enjoy this pipe and in some, sometimes I really couldn't care less for it. And I think there's a use for it, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, we're going to smoke some tobacco in it. I'm still tasting different tobaccos. I'm like going through this... Uh, phase right now where I just want to try every good tobacco that I can pick from the shelves just around in the grocery stores right now. Stuff that I don't have to to, to order online. And I stumbled across this one. McBaron Latin Mixture. Loose cut. I thought this was something with uh, Latakia since it's called Latin Mixture. But I found out that this is the new name for what they called the club mixture before at least here in Denmark. So what this is, is a different, uh, it's a variation of the Scottish mixture blend that I love very much. And this is a uh, milder, more sweet version of that tobacco. Maybe not more mild since Scottish blend is mild, mild in itself, but it's a little bit more sweet variation of that tobacco. The name just really uh, it's, it's, it's weird to me. Anyways, it, it would be the second time that I smoke it. It smells more or less like Scottish blend. And you can almost hear that out of the pouch, even though it's fresh. It's quite dry. I might have to, to uh, re-moisture this. Anyways, one of the good things about a corn cup, at least from my perspective, is that it's almost... Uh, how to say it? It's, it's very easy to fill to stuff. I'm gonna talk about more about that. It has to do with the shape, so it's almost risks off when you have to stuff it. Just take some tobacco and you can you can pack it very very tight. There's very good airflow in these corn cobs. That's one of the good things about a corn cob pipe that it has a very good airflow. So if you are a beginner. This can be a good way to learn how to, to pack a pipe. Black tea. So let's light it up. This video is not so much about the tobacco, since it's not a review of any kind, but... So, the corn cob itself is a very cheap pipe that you can just buy for a few bucks. It's very cheap. And because it's so cheap, you, you don't care if it breaks. And that's one of the reasons that I have a corn cob and that I use it from time to time. One example, yesterday I went for a motorcycle ride since the weather was great. So I can just stuff this pipe under my motorcycle seat or in my jacket, in my pocket. And if it breaks, I don't care. I don't really have any feelings connected to this pipe. 
I can just buy a new one and it will be the same. So since it's cheap, I use this pipe maybe if I do some garden work or if I'm out of the house or as I mentioned on a motorcycle ride. And there's no, there's a little bit more risk that I might injure the pipe, break it. Then I will bring this pipe out instead of having one of my Savinelli's, for example. So that's the reason I choose it. If I go to do some very dirty yard work like I did last week, where I'm like covered in mud, but I still like to have my pipe around when I'm in the garden, I can just smoke this pipe with dirt on my hands and really don't care about it. So you could say I use my corn cups as a beater pipe. So if it breaks, it breaks. That said, actually the pipe smokes amazing. Let's talk about why. It has a very narrow chamber that is very wide, deep. It's a deep chamber that is very narrow. And that has to do with why it packs good. A pipe that has a very large bowl, like diameter-wise, if you stuff that with tobacco a lot and push it in, you push the, the tobacco all the way to the bottom and then you end up with tobacco all the way down here and it blocks the airflow. So, since the shape, the size of the pipe changes when you shift pipes, the shape of the tobacco, the size of the tobacco is all the time the same. So the way that the tobacco and the pipe speaks together will be different. That's why you cannot just pack a bowl. When people say it has to be this and this firm and this and this tight, <laughs> it depends on the shape of the pipe. A uh, corn cob pipe that is very narrow, when I stuff the tobacco in it, it will grab on the sides of the of the chamber and therefore it can be very tight without it going to the bottom because it sticks on the sides. So you still have an airflow. It's like it's it's stuck up here, even though it's tight. If you have a good example, if you want to stuff the same size tobacco, tobacco has the same size down to this diameter, and you stuff it, it just hits the bottom. So I can fit all this tobacco in there without it without it will be able to catch on the sides. It will just stay on the bottom. And if there was a hole here in the stem, you wouldn't be able to get some air through. So, I almost got heated up there. I just hate when people talk about how to stuff a pipe and they don't mention the diameter of the bowl. It has a huge difference. If I take my Savonelli pot and stuff a lot of tobacco in there just goes to the bottom. I cannot get this tightness because the tightness is not coming from the sides. It's just toughness on the bottom. Anyways. So. You can, you can stuff this pipe very firmly and you won't have any issues because it's a narrow chamber. That's why it works great. Easy to pack, easy to smoke. Moisture wise. By nature, the material absorb, absorbs a lot of moisture. So the pipe itself will absorb a lot of moisture and it will just evaporate. So there's not so much cleanup. They won't, won't get so dirty. They won't get so nasty. So easy on maintenance. And they smoke dry. Downsides. I don't think they look particularly appealing it looks cheap and it is cheap so visually how i think it the pipe presents itself when i smoke it is a downside for me it's not a beautiful pipe it's almost a funny pipe i don't know why i have trouble getting this lit So now we come to the worst part. 
the contact point with you and the pipe, the stem. The stem is horrible. Cheap, soft plastic that you can just break with your teeth. And for me, the tactile feeling of the pipe in your mouth has a lot to do how I enjoy the pipe. So the touching point with me and the pipe here annoys me. So what I wanted to do, I haven't done it yet, is that I can buy a better stem and put on the pipe. Also this yellow plastic has nothing to do with the pipe, it looks stupid. It works, but I don't like it. So the stem, horrible. Small tip for you guys. Corn cobs can, with a very, uh, it works very great with a filter. I just stuff a filter in there. There's so much space in here in the stem. <laughs> Apply a filter to it. It will absorb a lot of the moisture. So, corn cob pipes, for me it's a love-hate relationship. So comment down below if you use a corn cob. Why if you do, why if you don't? For me there's a place for them, but they are, they are what they are. A cheap pipe. Sometimes that's all I need. Hmm, for the tobacco. It is more or less what it should be. It has the same feel, taste, and characteristics as the McBaron Scottish blend. It just has a little bit more sweetness to it. Less of this spice than it is normally associated with the Scottish blend. I guess it's because this has some black Cavendish in it. At least more black Cavendish in than compared to the Scottish blend. Try it. If you, if you like Scottish blend, you will like this too. Anyways, that was my ramble about the corn cup pipe. Enjoy the fall, everyone, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.